This is my entry into the Unity DirectX 11 competition. I wanted to create an explosion that was fr frozen in time using several techniques such as destruction, uh, planes, vertex coloring, and uh, test and tessellation, normal maps, and displacement. And this is how I did it. I made several versions of uh, the explosion shapes in ZBrush, as you can see here. This is one of them. Uh, to do this, I made a Z sphere and used the Z, Z, Z sketch option to uh, draw spheres on the surface of the model. Um, this gave me the opportunity to make uh, different type of shapes um, that would all look very different from each other. Um, just kind of drew on the surface in different ways, uh, creating different uh, shapes. Then what I would do is, is I would uh, smooth it out and uh, give it a little bit of definition and add more polys to it and then export it into 3D Studio Max. In 3D Studio Max, as you can see here, I have two versions. The one on the right is, was, was brought in from ZBrush. The one on the left is also from ZBrush, but I used Decimation Master to bring the poly count down to a reasonable Unity level. Um, I then used a Render to Texture to create a normal map that I would bring into Z Crazy Bump. I created this ship in 3D Studio Max um, and went ahead and used a Fracture plugin to, in, to break it up into pieces, as you can see. And then I used NVIDIA's uh, physics tool to give it uh, uh, rigid bodies and hit the play button and I was able to shatter the ship. Uh, what was great about the physics tool is that I was able to play it, rewind, do frame by frame, um, and get the right amount of debris. Um, now this, there was a lot of debris on the screen, so to eliminate the debris, I went ahead and uh, made a snapshot of it, and then took several pieces out and made the debris into planes, so it would be a little cheaper. To create the displacement map, I brought the normal map into Crazy Bump, and uh, in Crazy Bump, I went ahead and made the displacement map. I also tried to think about where the heat would be in the in the displacement. So I decided that the the, the darker areas would be where the heat was located was located. And so that enabled me to give the heat a color and make it look a little bit different. Using Unity's tessellation shader as a template, uh, I I was able to make my own custom shader as you can see here. Um, it, it, using the black areas of the texture in the displacement map, I'm able to change the color of the uh, crevices or almost where the heat would be coming out of, as you can see here. Uh, also with the tessellation shader, I was able to use the normal map to create, give it more geometry, as you can see. Uh, this, this produced quite a cool effect uh, using a texture and normal map and, high, and displacement map.